I think most of you guys have already enjoyed generating these awesome AI QR codes. But now you can take it to the next level with your own images. It could be a portrait, it could be a pet image, or it could be anything else. And these AI QR codes looks more personal. So let me show you guys how to do that. So first of all, you have to go to this website called Quick QR Art and then scroll down a little bit and click on that join beta. And you guys will be redirected to their Discord account. So this is their Discord account. Well, I have already made video on this tool, but now they have implemented a new feature called Blend. So just click on that channels. Uh, on the left side, you will have channels. So click one of them. Let's say this channel. So click on that. Okay. So you can see the people are generating these images and these are 100% scannable. I have tried it out and this is absolutely works good. Now simply type forward slash and new window will pop up. So you have to click on that blend section and then select the image that you want to generate image around. Let's say uh, this is the image that I want to add in my QR code and let me just select the QR code. So we have two images. Uh, first of all, we have our base image, then we have our QR code. So then you can add your prompt, let's say a woman wearing glasses and hat. So let's see what it comes up with. So this is the output image that it generated. So if I click on that, you can see this image. Let me open in this browser. Okay, so you can see the hat, the glasses, the eyes, uh, the lips. So it captured the soul of that image. And I scan this QR code and it's 100% working. So let's generate something else. So this time I'm gonna upload this image. So this is the image that I generated in Stable Diffusion. So if you guys haven't watched my video on Stable Diffusion versus Mid Journey, you should definitely watch that out because Stable Diffusion is right now on steroids, man. This is really good. So let me just enter a prompt, a serious brooding old man, and let's see what it comes up with. So this is the output image that we got, and just look at this. It added that old person in that. Uh, well, it doesn't look appealing as we want, so let me show you a trick here. So this time I'm gonna upload the QR code instead of our base image, and then in the section of QR code, I'm gonna upload my image that I want to generate. And now I just wait for a magic. Okay, so now look at this image. This image looks more appealing, right? Just look at this. Now it looks more similar to our input image. And if we look at this values that it uses, QR code weightage and the blend values that it uses. So you can also play around with the different values. So by default, the values are 0.05% and it uses 5% blend level. So you can also play around with the different values with the blend section and you can also play with uh, QR code values. But the problem about shuffling the images that sometimes it works 100% and sometimes it doesn't work. And you have to play around with the different images. And if you want to make it 100% working, you should definitely go with the predefined settings. Like you have to upload base image in the uh, base image section and you have to upload your QR code in the QR code section. So that's it from this video. And if you guys in the space of AI, Make sure to subscribe Planet AI and I'll see you in the next one.